hi everyone so here is the topic of stability of complexes that's the last topic of coordination compounds so when we talk whether the complex is stable or not it depends upon the various factors but before we understand the factors let us just understand what exactly is meant by the term stability constant so let us say for example m is any central metal atom which is being approached by four ligands that's a tetrahedral complex so the tetrahedral complex so form would be ml4 where there are four ligands interacting with the metal atom so if i want to write down the equilibrium constant for this reaction how do i write we know that equilibrium constant is the concentration of the product so it goes as ml4 divided by the concentration of the metal atom that's the reactants basically i'm talking about and since four ligands are there so i'm going to take it to the power four so this is how we have learned to write the equilibrium constant if the reaction is at equilibrium so here we assume that the reaction has come to an equilibrium point and this is how the equilibrium constant is worked out but this is a net reaction the overall reaction this reaction to tell you the fact it doesn't happen in one single step indeed it's a four step reaction so when we talk about the overall reaction we use the term overall stability constant that's denoted by the constant beta right so here it's the same thing that equilibrium constant is basically represented as beta which is a stability constant of the overall reaction but what if i split this reaction step wise so if i want to write step wise reaction how do i go about since there are four ligands so each ligand will be approaching the metal atom step by step that is successive steps will be followed so step number 1 to go about over here is the metal atom approach by the ligand l that's the first ligand so the complex form would be ml so if i write the equilibrium constant since the reaction has come to an equilibrium i do write it like this that's the concentration of the product by the ratio of the concentration of the reactants that's the metal atom and the ligand now this metal complex would act as a reactant and attack by the second ligand again the complex would be ml2 that's our product so again if i work out the equilibrium constant it would be the ratio of the concentration of the product to the concentration of the reactants likewise is the attack of third ligand and so on as the fourth ligand so here k1 i'll just highlight over here k1 k2 k3 and k4 are the step wise equilibrium constant and the overall equilibrium constant or the stability constant for the net reaction that's a single step reaction is abbreviated like this so if i want to derive the equation using this equation 1 2 3 4 okay so i want to use these four equations and derive the overall stability constant for the net reaction how do i do so what i found over here the relation is if i multiply k1 k2 k3 and k4 together so let me utilize the space when i say k1 okay so what am i trying to do i'm trying to multiply k1 k2 k3 and k4 together so here we go so what is the value of k1 i found that's ml concentration of the complex divided by the concentration of the metal atom and the first ligand likewise m2 would be what ml2 right divided by ml and into the concentration of ligand likewise i'll write third part over here it's ml3 concentration divided by 
ml2 concentration into the ligand and the fourth one to go would be ml4 concentration divided by ml3 and again the ligand concentration now if you see i can cancel out this part right i can even cancel out ml2 and ml2 over here ml3 and ml3 over here so what am i left off with so if you cumulate this up i am left off with ml4 in the numerator the concentration of ml4 and in the denominator i have m concentration and l four times see here i'll highlight one two three four so here i can put it to the power four and this is beta that's the overall stability constant so how is the relation of stability constant with the equilibrium constants that we understood very clearly that the overall stability constant of the reaction is found by multiplying the equilibrium constant for each step so that's very very important relation to be learnt another important thing is if i try to take the reciprocal of this beta which is the overall stability constant i would get the dissociation constant for the overall reaction so henceforth i can write here that k d that's the dissociation constant or instability constant is inverse of beta that's the stability constant okay so inverse of stability constant would land up with instability constant or dissociation constant now let me quickly tell you what are the factors which will affect the stability of the complex so here we need to understand that the stability of the complex is totally dependent upon the nature of the ligands again when i say the nature of the ligands i mean to say whether they are weak field ligands or strong field ligands so remember all strong field ligands have greater stability for the complex in comparison to the weaker ones so let us give an example over here so that cyano and amine okay these are the ligands which are strong field we have already understood the spectrochemical series so if they are strong field that means they are going to act as a strong lewis base hence the complexes formed with such kind of ligands which are strong lewis bases or indeed strong field are said to be more stable wherein if you take an example of halide ions whether it could be chlorido bromido fluorido iodo right all these ligands have a weak field that means they are not going to give the stability to the complex as comparative to your strong field ligands so remember all the complexes with strong field ligands are more stable wherein with weak field ligands are pretty less stable so that's one very important thing the next important thing to highlight is the oxidation state of the central metal atom okay so higher is the oxidation state of the metal atom the more stable is the complex that's very very important point for example if you try to compare hexa amine cobalt okay oxidation state would be again 3 over here and if you try to club with this wherein we will call this complex as hexa amine cobalt 2 as the oxidation state so here the oxidation state of cobalt in this complex is plus 3 whereas in this complex the oxidation state is found to be plus 2 so higher is the oxidation state more stable is the complex therefore co nh3 whole 6 3 plus complex is far more stable than cobalt nh3 6 2 plus complex likewise you can also compare 
in this complex and this complex depending upon their oxidation state so let me tell you over here in this case if you try to find out the oxidation state of iron right that's a name i'm going to write later so if you want to find the oxidation state what should it be now x for this cyanido is minus 1 into 6 equal to minus 3 so here i land up as plus 3 now whereas in this case the oxidation state would be plus 2 so this is ferrous and this is in ferric state right and if you want to write the name of this complex since it's anion so i'm going to use the term ferrate so here is the IUPAC of this complex it would be hexa cyanido right ferrate because it's an anionic complex and the oxidation state to be written as 3 so this complex since the oxidation state is plus 3 for iron and wherein in this complex the oxidation state comes as plus 2 therefore it is far this one I'll just put in box with blue so this complex is far more stable than this one and the last point to be noted down chelating ligands we already understood chelating ligands produce far more stable complexes than monodentate ligands so that's all about the stability of the complex how to calculate so you might get question in board exam based on the stability so in that case you need to find out the stability okay of the complex using this formula right and moreover they might ask you about the factors or they might ask you to compare the complexes which is more stable so use these tricks to figure out which one is more stable so that's the end of this chapter keep watching and follow the videos thank you